There we go. Pinch and you grab. Wow. Pinch and you grab. So looking at the car, it's a lot wider than its predecessor, than its previous body style. Huge kidney grills in the front, huge fenders, quarter panels are very wide. So going around the car, I mean, it's wide. You can see the width of it. Nice big doors on the car. Now, I'm not sure why these wheels, I'm, I think these things can be taken out. So the Rivian R1T and R1S has these covers on the rims. I don't really like them that much. This one can't be taken out. I think those can. And I think BMW didn't change the wheels because it maybe gave you some more gas mileage. I know they probably did that for their electric model to help its range. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of that. Huge fan of this emblem, larger emblem in the rear. Looks way better. I'm not gonna open the trunk right now since I have some stuff in it. This is the M. So look, just look at the front here, guys. Like, that's just giving me Rolls Royce vibes right there. Can you tell from the front that it has a Rolls Royce like fender? Huge hood, very massive. Yeah, I mean, just seeing this car, like, just seeing it, like, you know, walking out of the Starbucks, something like that in the parking lot. Boom! You know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the, the headlights? So as you approach the car, I have the keys in my pocket. My favorite thing about this car is it has standard remote start which is really cool. We can get it to focus there. You can see it has the remote start on the key. And newer design keys, which is great. Really was never a fan of the older BMW keys, so. All right, so again, we're in the 2023 BMW M760. This is my first time in it. Again, the real experience here, guys. I just want to play with that sound system so bad right now. I love this. Like this right here. Right here, you have your, this is your air conditioning direction controls, I guess. That's crazy that it's right there. And it's actually coming out underneath of the display. This is really beautiful though. This display, it's curved, so sick. So my heads up display is not active. This is a brand new car, guys. Bought this brand new from BMW dealership. Got this for a discount off MSRP. I'm surprised. It is a hot car. But BMW has never really been known for, I don't know, being hot for a long time. They produce a lot of cars. They're good at making cars. So I guess once you have a, a big supply, how are you gonna hold hold gross and hold the price? Got these cameras. More, we got the 3D view of the car. Oh yeah, there we go. Pinch and you grab. Wow. Pinch and you grab. We are going to play with the modes real quick. We're gonna put in sport. We're gonna feel the sportness and we'll change it up. I have this sweet view. Oh yeah, now it's red. So the dashboard changes to red. Oh, you know what? Let's just play with the modes real quick. Let's put it in uh, in personal. And then we're going to efficient. I guess it doesn't. Oh, there it is. Blue again. And then expressive. Oh, man. We got the... This also lights up at night. You have these lines going through there. So expressive is interesting. We'll figure out what that mode is later. Digital art. Man, this is an artsy car, man. Let me tell you. Look at it. It's all purple now. I'm a big fan of the purple. Here we go. It's safe for a ride. So this car... It feels like a Rolls Royce. Oh God. This is the same engine that's in the, that's in the Range Rover uh, full size V8. So this is the V8 model 760. So 536 horsepower, 4.4 liter V8. I'm gonna say the zero to 60 is 3.6 seconds. So it's powerful. The view, the view angles of this car is insane. Wow, it's so nice. Super nice suspension, even in sport, super soft. So this vehicle isn't equipped with the M Pro driving package, which is, I believe is like a $3,000 option. The MSRP on this car is about 118. Maybe that's why I don't really have my M controls that I'm looking for, but also it's just like a stunning car. Pretty sure I'm getting air out of this. First car I've driven with an with air conditioned armrests, very nice. I'm definitely gonna be buying more of these things. I hope they're as, as pop, I, I hope they're gonna sell as quickly as as I think they are. Oh, wow. Four wheel steering, even on like a slight turn, you feel it. Wow, that's crazy. So smooth. All these modes are cool, but I just want my sport and my, like I just want to be able to toggle it quickly. I guess here I can, now I'm in sport, trans, my shifting's in sport. Damn. Oh wow, I got a little backfire there. I've never been a fan of the 7 Series, but this is like probably the first time driving a 7 Series. 
huge fan right now. Problem is, I've never liked them because the seats were never like, were never comfortable. I just always found them like kind of narrow. The part that extended un under your legs, I felt like that was always like really cheaply made. But these seats have like gorgeous diamond stitching, leather, so soft, just incredibly soft to like the touch. It's just like, it's crazy. I'm super impressed. I'd also really like how BMW didn't change the body style to the ele their electric version in their gasoline version. It's, ex it's exactly the same. I think that's really cool. I'm sick of, wow. I'm sick of car manufacturers making electric cars just look so different. Like why can't they just look the same? You know what I mean? Like why, why should you be forced to get an electric car and it's, it just looks so odd from the rest. I, I think it's very cool that BMW chose to make it like exactly the same. Just pick your engine. You want electric or you want gas and that's it. Market on these things, not really sure yet. I know they're doing 115 in the auction. MSRP is 118 on them. So, I mean, resale value is there. If you pay tax on this, you're gonna pay about six to $7,000 in tax. So say you bought it cash for 118, you paid the MSRP price. Uh, you're gonna own it for like 126, say after fees, maybe 127. So you're still gonna lose about like $12,000 if you were just to buy this car and maybe sell it maybe two months down the road. So again, we're not in that period where cars are doing way over the sticker price, the tax tags and you know, out the door price. We're not there anymore. But if you are managed to get a huge tax credit and buy this car, you really aren't going to take a huge hit providing a dealer would give you the Mannheim market number for this car, which is say 115. So, which is $3,000 under the sticker, which is good. But this isn't a car that someone's gonna go and flip. BMW's never really had that many of them. I do believe the X7s are potentially flippable. The BMW 7 Series has never been like that. But these are hot. I mean, when they first came out, they were selling for over the sticker, but now it hasn't really even been that long since it first came out and they're not selling for over sticker anymore. You could probably even get one for a discount at a BMW dealership. I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to hold on to this car for very long. I'm gonna try to sell it fast, uh, just in case the market switches up. But I do see BMW dealerships getting these cars in, like no problem. I mean, it's over $100,000, so. The one thing I do know is that it's, it is gonna be very hard to get one with the theater package, which has that beautiful, like, three foot screen that goes across the back of the car. That is gonna be very hard to get. I think they already discontinued making that um, for parts shortage reasons. Market on the car is pretty solid considering they're doing $3,000 under the sticker in the auction. And um, I don't think these are for sale everywhere, but I think if you wanna wait three or four weeks at your BMW dealership, you could probably get one. Other than that, I mean, basic BMW controls, newest thing about the car, the driving feel is completely different. It does not feel like you're driving a BMW. And I've never been a huge fan of BMW, but I am now. This is just like incredible. The steering feel is awesome. The handling, the transmission acceleration, the power is phenomenal. Great car. I haven't even taken it on the highway yet to really drive it, but I'm gonna be driving this car for the next two or three days. And I'm just a huge fan already, man. Like I got in it the last night when we when got it delivered and everyone stops to look at it and. You know, you don't really see too many of these things driving around. So it really has like an angular look. It's not like, uh, it's not like what you're seeing out on the streets. I mean, it has that boxiness to it, which the Rolls Royce has, which I think is really cool that this has this as well. And obviously, you know, there's tons of BMW parts in Rolls Royce. So it's kind of cool that, you know, you can get something maybe just as luxurious for your family at huge discount, huge fraction of the price. So it is really nice. Uh, I do really, really like this car. I would love to see, I would love to get the electric model, but I just think they're selling for way too much money. I mean, $165,000 for the electric model. I would like to see it at like 130, but it's gonna be a while until batteries are that affordable. And there's still like a ton of problems right now going on with other electric car manufacturers. How many manufacturers, brands are able to get that straightened out. I bought a brand new Lucid and the battery went bad and I had to ship it out to Chicago to get a brand new battery in the first month of owning it. Hopefully one day Tesla can just license, can just create a licensing deal for their batteries and just license out the battery, uh, battery formula, their battery format, however they get their batteries and produce their batteries because Tesla's I've never heard of someone getting a brand new Tesla battery and that going bad. That would make 
everyone's life a lot easier and hopefully it'll be a lot cheaper too. This car, just sitting in it, you get like a huge vibe of the lights, the honeycomb. It's really nice. It's, it doesn't feel cheap, which is cool. The only thing that that might feel like, I'm not really a huge fan. There's no, there's no haptic response here. I'm not sure if I could change that in the settings, but I like how it blinks up when you turn the hazard lights on. Look, I'm pushing it. So there's no haptic feedback when you push the button. It's just all sound coming from the stereo. It's like, you don't, you don't really like feel what you're pushing. You kind of have to look to push everything, um, which is okay. I just wish it would be a little bit different feel when you're pushing those buttons right there, especially the ones here. When you push these, they all move. So this whole thing just moves when you push it, it flexes. Other than that, I really like it. No door handle, it's pushed to open right here with a little button right there. We're gonna stop and we're gonna play with some features in a second. Quick, f yeah, I mean, that's just, it just feels so good to go over 70 in this thing. The steering wheel, oh man, it makes all the difference, man, this wheel, so comfortable. And I have not driven a sedan in a while. I've been in SUVs for the past couple months. I wanted to know what you guys think of this car. Has anyone driven it? Do you think it's gonna beat out the S-Class? Right now, I feel like Mercedes is a little dated with their technology. I think this, this curved screen is awesome. It's so clear. It looks like it's an OLED or a QLED screen. Definitely really popular right now. Very vibrant colors, very bright. You see no, you can barely see any reflection on the screen, which is really nice. I'm trying to think right now how it compares to like the current S-Class. I mean, the current S-Class is cool with the, with the whole screen going down the center and stuff, but I don't know. Definitely smooth ride, maybe not as smoother as the S-Class, but the transmission and the power in this thing is a lot of fun. I would say maybe this is more fun to drive. I would rather be driving this right now than the new S580, to be honest with you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You guys think this is gonna outperform the Mercedes-Benz. And for the price, I like, you know head to head on the price. I've said this before in BMW, I think you just get better quality with a cheaper price. I mean, these seats are absolutely gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of how this car is sitting, potentially more comfortable to sit in the next class. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. This car is available at jsautohouse.com. You can see it listed for sale. You can check out our pictures if you wanna check it out. If you guys like the video, again, please share it with your friends. All right, the support is always appreciated. And uh, if you guys are looking to buy, sell anything at all, you can always hit me up and um, I can give you a number on what you need. Hope we can do some business together. And that's pretty much the video. Thanks guys.